Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. It's so good to see you again. So this is our last week of our beloved community theme. And today we have Hippo. Hippo. And we have the Wonder Box. Hippo, can you help open it? I know it's such a big lid. Uh -huh. Ah, you did it. Where should I put it? Oh, just put it down over there. Oh my gosh. Look. What are those? <gasps> Look what we have. Do you recognize any of these, Hippo? No. Never seen them before. Oh, you've never seen one? Nope. Well, come on over. Grab this and show the kids what it is. Maybe they know what it is. Oh, it's kind Whoa, of heavy. It smells so good. What do you think this is, kids? Do you recognize mm. that? Hippo. I I can eat it. it oh, I know. Yummy. Hippo just wants to eat it. I know. I think maybe after this we'll have a little snack. Yay, snacky. I'm really hungry. And look at, this is the other one that's in here. Does anybody know what this is? Well, Hippo, I'll tell you. I think some of you kids at home already said it. This one is a bagel. And bagel. this one is a croissant. And in France, they call them croissants. Croissant. 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 And they are both delicious breakfast foods. And we can taste can them. Can you eat them not for breakfast? You can eat them anytime. Should we have them for dinner? You got to stay up here, though, Hippo. You're falling. Okay. So let me tell you about what this reminds me of. So this bagel is like a closed circle, right? With a hole in the middle. And this is one way that we could be in the world. We could always have a closed loop. And we could have, when we sit together with friends, we could sit in a tight closed circle. That'd be boring. And when we think about things, we can just think about just the little circle of things that we know and not think about anything outside of our circle. Or... When we sit with our friends, we could sit in a crescent shape. And sometimes croissants are more curved like this, kind of like a crescent moon, like that. It looks good, sort of funky. funky. Yeah, it is. It's kind of funky and bumpy. And you know what's cool about croissants? They're made out of all of these different layers of dough inside. And you could, they're, it's almost like they're always adding new layers and new ideas. And the shape, if you were sitting with your friends and you were in a crescent shape, what do you think that would tell other people that might want to come sit with you in your circle? You're like open to ideas and stuff. That's right. Can and, you eat them now? And you're even, <laughs> hold on, we can't eat them yet. Mm. And you're open to people coming and sitting with you. Yeah. So I've heard like camp counselors say, be a croissant, not a bagel. And that's reminding people Sit with some openness, some space for other people to come and Wait, sit with you. does that mean we shouldn't eat the bagel? Well, that doesn't mean that bagels aren't delicious. This is just they showing us delicious. two ideas of how we can be in the world. We can either be closed with all the things that we need right here and all of our friends right here are not open to anybody new. Or we can be open and available to new ideas and new friends. And new people to sit with. Right. Not just the ones that people sit with all the time. So what do you think, Hippo? Are you going to be like a bagel or like a croissant? Croissant. Yeah. Let's be croissant, like... Croissant, 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 But does that mean that we shouldn't eat bagels? No. Now we can still eat bagels. Still but let's eat. just remember to be like a croissant and not like a bagel when we walk through this world. And that reminds me of some of the coloring pages that Sylvan and I have done. And I wanted to show you some because they are all about including other people and offering them love and seeking new ways of being in the world. So number one, our number one principle in Unitarian Universalism is respect all beings. So that's making sure that we respect other people's ideas and that we open up our, our minds and, and learn new things. Number two is offer love to all. So that's like we're open. We have an open crescent, not a closed circle. And we're offering our love. And then... I thought that one was all being, so is that the other one? This one, let's see. This one is number three. Yearn to learn and accept one another. 
So that one is like, we want to learn about you. We want our circle to be open so that you can come and sit with us, even if we don't know you. And especially if you maybe are a little different than we are. Because you know what? Maybe some of us have never hung out with a hippo before. And we might want to get to know you. Unless you like live in Africa or where hippos live. Right. And even then, those are pretty big animals. We've never hung out with a little cozy, cuddly hippo before. And we like getting to know new creatures, huh? Yeah. Right now, we have seven principles of Unitarian Universalism. But there's an eighth principle that lots and lots of people want to adopt as an official principle of the UU faith. And that one says this. You can take a rest if you want. Do you want to lie down with this bagel, little one, while we talk about this? Okay. You can take some bites of that bagel. So, the eighth principle says, journeying towards spiritual wholeness by working to build a diverse, multicultural, beloved community by our actions that accountably dismantle racism and other oppressions in ourselves and our institutions. So that one is specifically talking about racism, not just, oh, we want everyone to feel love and we want everyone to be included. We want everyone to have peace, justice, and liberty. And very specifically for that eighth principle, we want to make sure that every day we're doing something to take apart racism, take apart this thing that's been built up for more than 400 years. And so... Being like a croissant instead of like a bagel (laughs) is a really good way to remember that. So that's all I have for you today. And I hope that you look into those principles and you do your coloring pages. And we'll talk more about that eighth principle because that is a really important one that's coming up. So thank you for being here with us. Grateful my hands in yours, grateful my hands in yours, grateful my hands in yours, grateful my hands in yours. I will walk with my feet on the earth, so sweet. I will walk with my hands in yours, for the time is ripe. For us to unite, I will walk with my hands in yours. Grateful my hands in yours, 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 grateful my hands in yours. I will walk with my heart open wide from the start. I will walk with my hands in yours. For the time is ripe for us all to rise. I will walk with my hands in yours. Grateful 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 my hands in yours. And I am so grateful for you and for walking this journey with you.